Courtney, if you remember on those last problems that I gave you, uh, that was only asking you how to find the angle in the first quadrant. But one thing I want you guys to understand, if I say, remember, if we talked about cosine of theta, when cosine of theta equals square root of 2 over 2. You guys understand, when you look at the unit circle, there's two points where cosine of theta equals square root of 2 over 2. We have pi hat or pi force and negative pi over 4, right? Because at this point, it's square root of 2 over 2, comma negative or positive, square root of 2 over 2. Here, the point is square root of 2 over 2, comma negative square root of 2 over 2. But what I want you guys to understand is that the value of cosine um, or the value of an angle when cosine equals square root of 2 over 2, there's two answers. Yes? OK? So it's going to become very important that you need to provide both answers unless you're given a constraint. All right? And there's going to be times I'm going to give you a constraint. And then there's going to be times I do not give you a constraint. So it's going to be very important that the one, you can understand when you have a constraint and when you don't. And then secondly, to make sure you understand what the constraint is telling you. So the main important thing for you guys to understand, a lot of all these points on the unit circle have two values. So we need to make sure we only find the values that are win, within the constraint when we're given a constraint. And we need to understand if we're not given a constraint, that we need to make sure we apply both of those values. And again, we'll get more into that right into, really for this class period. We're just going to talk about using constraints. We'll talk about not using constraints um, a little bit later. So anyways, let's say I give you a constraint. I want you to find the value of, a, of an angle when, when cosine of theta is greater than 0. So remember, cosine represents the what coordinate on the unit circle? x. So when is x positive? Let's go and look at a quad, um, coordinate. When is x positive? Which, which quadrants? Remember, there's four of them. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Right, so it's 1 and 4. right? So therefore, when cosine, is, um, cosine of theta is greater than 0, if there's any points that are within these two quadrants, then you're not going to include them. All right? So it's just going to be the first, first one and four. So you'd say the quadrants that I'm going to find my answer are in are going to be in one and four. OK? How about let's look at what about when tangent is less than 0? So when is tangent less than 0? What quadrants is that, Darian? Do you know? Two. Um, well, here, tangent, remember, is y over x. Y is negative and X is negative, so that would actually turn it to be positive. So you have two right, and what else? We know it's, this is double negative, so it turns positive. That's both positive. Two and four. Does everybody kind of see that, where that's in? OK, so therefore your answer, if I give you a problem and I say, what's the angle? I only want you to give me answers that are in quadrant two and quadrant four. That's it, all right? Or if I give you a triangle and I say, hey, I want you to draw this triangle in here, it only can be in quadrant two or four. Um, if it lies in quadrant two, that's pretty obvious. Where's the, where are you going to have the point? Only in quadrant two, right? And then here, you guys need to remember, where is your radians lie? Remember, if this is pi, this is pi halves. That's three pi over two. So therefore, I only want something that's in between pi halves. So theta has to be greater than pi halves but less than or equal to pi. So it has to be in my second quadrant. Huh? No, no, no. These are just three examples or four examples. You're going to have multiple different constraints. I just wanted to give you some examples on how to define them. All right. So what I'll do is I'll go through a quick little problem. I'll just kind of uh, make one up so you guys can see how to draw the triangle. 